Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to simplify this nice algebraic expression. So if we have a to the power of 5 divided by a to the power of 5 minus 1 and here we need to simplify this nice algebraic expression. Uh, so I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind uh, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Here now in order to uh, simplify this algebraic expression first we need to focus on uh, this term on numerator and denominator side uh, so that here first we need to find the value of 8 to the power of 5 okay. So here first we find the value of 8 to the power of 5 and at the last we can put this value here and you can get our final simplified form of the given question. And now here in order to find the value of 8 to the power of 5. Uh, we uh, just uh, write this a to the power of 5 as uh, in this form a to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 1 uh, and now here we apply the nice exponent law you know that uh, uh, if we have a to the power of m plus n plus p we write it as a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of p. So according to uh, this exponent law, we will break this uh, the exponents of these terms and it will be written as uh, we have 8 to the power of 5 is equals to 8 square multiplied by 8 square multiplied by 8 uh, and here we easily find um, the square of 8. We know that 8 square is equals to 64 multiplied by this 8 square is also equals to 64 and this is our 8. So here because a calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we need to show all of the working on this paper uh, so so that's why we need uh, all of these steps okay in order to gain the full marks in the exams uh, you need to do all of these uh, steps uh, in, in the solution of this problem okay. Uh, so uh, now here uh, I can just uh, give you a nice smart method in which you can multiply these two bigger numbers without using the calculator. Uh, here uh, first we break this value this is 64 uh, we write it as 60 plus 4 and at the last the resulting answer is multiplied by 8. Now here in the next step we need to multiply 64 with these two numbers and it will be written as 64 multiplied by 60 plus 64 multiplied by 4 and uh, its resulting answer is multiplied by 8. So here first we need to multiply these two numbers. Uh, so here first we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit numbers and now here uh, when we multiply here first we need to multiply 0 with this number so it will be written as so when you multiply 0 with this number you will get here 0 times of this number becomes 0 and 6 times of this number equals to 6 4s are 24, we write 4 and carry 2, 6 6 are 36, 36 plus 2 becomes here 38 uh, and plus here we need to multiply 64 uh, with this 4 and you see here 4 4s are 16, uh, we write 6 and carry 1, 6 4s are 24, 24 plus 1 becomes here 25. So we need to uh, first we need to add these two numbers and at the last we will multiply it with 8. Now, so here we can add uh, these two numbers directly you see here 0 plus 6 becomes 6 and 4 plus 5 becomes 9 and 8 plus 2 becomes 10 we write 0 and carry 1 and 3 plus 1 becomes here 4. So when you add these numbers you get here 4096 and here we need to multiply this number with 8. So uh, here we need to multiply this number with 8 so you see here 8 6 uh, 48 and we write here 8 and carry 4 and 8 9 are 72. So 8 9 are 72, 72 plus 4 becomes 76 we write 6 and carry 7, 8 0 are 0, 0 plus 7 becomes 7 and 8 4 are 32. So here we get uh, the value of 8 to the power of 5 is equals to 32,768 uh, and now here uh, we move backward and we put this value of 8 to the power of 5 on both of these cases so that uh, our above given question statement is implies that 8 to the power of 5 divided by 8 to the power of 5 minus 1 is equals to 
uh, we have the value of a to the power of 5 is 3 2 7 6 8 and it is divided by 3 2 7 6 8 and a minus 1 so here we need to rewrite uh, this expression as we can write this 3 2 uh, 7 6 8 as in this form uh, 3 2 7 6 and 7 and plus 1 we write 32768 as 32761 plus 1 and when we subtract these two values we will obtain here 32767 and now here in order to find our answer into the uh, simplified form here we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as 3 2 7 6 7 and it is divided by 3 2 7 6 7 and plus it is a 1 divided by 3 2 7 6 and 7 and now you see here uh, this value is cancelled out by this value and we will get here a 1 plus 1 over 3 2 7 6 and 7 so here and now in the next step uh, we can uh, just uh, write uh, these numbers as uh, into the whole form so we write it as one whole and one over thirty two thousand seven hundred and sixty seven so finally we have eight to the power of five divided by eight to the power of five minus one is equals to one whole of 1 over 3 2 7 6 7 so this is the our final simplified form of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos